welcome to the module 12 of the lecture sessions on training and development. We are on the lecture 3 of this particular module and here we are going to discuss on the implication of digital disruption in training and learning. So, this part of the lecture session will be held on implication of digital disruption in training. Now, what is digital disruption? Digital disruption has a remarkable impact on the employment and considerable implications for skills and employee training. As a result of that, training providers from early schooling through to tertiary education need to adapt curriculum to the rapidly changing technological environment leading to digital disruption. Now, generally digital disruption happens after a digital innovation. It affects how the expectations and behaviors of customers evolve, causing organizations to shift how they create products and services. This shift in digital strategy can occur on an individual, organizational, industry or societal level. Digital disruption is the change that occurs when new digital technologies and business models affect the value propositions of existing goods and services. Some examples of digital disruptions. The digital camera business disrupted the industry of film photography and photo processing. The rise of electronic reading has redefined the print and publication industry. Amazon, Hulu and Netflix caused a disruption within the media and entertainment industries by changing how content is accessed by customers and monetized by advertisers. On demand services like Uber have disrupted more traditional services like taxis. The importance of digital disruption. Digital disruption obtains competitive benefits to business. It has other importance like pursue initiatives that might cause a disruption without getting afraid of the disruptor. Consolidate data assets and use them to make decisions. Brainstorm ideas for entirely unique products services or channels, employ customer data in new innovative ways, digital disruptions are more of an opportunity than a threat. Now, what are the elements of digital disruption? It has four distinct elements, each with the potential to change the business directions. They are the first is technology, which includes things like invention, usage, design, etc. The business itself, which covers marketing, development, delivery, pricing. Industry, which involves the customers, methods, processes, standards. And society at large, which encompasses movements, culture, habits and so on. Because the technology first uh, will affect the business, the business is placed within the like ecosystem of the industry and the whole industry how it is changing it will affect generally affect the society and the society will also give its feedback to the industry, industry to business and to the technology which will show like this digital disruption however it is working is getting assimilated into the system or not. So, it is a like moving out from technology to society and again society giving feedback inwards to the technology also. Now, what is the implication of digital disruption on training? The implication on the employees. Employees now expect their learning to be personalized on demand engaging, instantly gratifying and enabling by technology which is creating scope for digital disruption. 
what the implication on the HR team is that the expectation of the HR team requires learning and development to reskill, upskill and cross skill employees with a focus on developing a digital first mindset and a learning centric culture. The implication on organization is that in the digital age, however, the function of organizations specifically learning and development are demonstrating increasing importance. Training, learning and talent management along with learning and development have become a strategic priority by the organizations. Implication on learning competencies. The implications of the digital age for employees training and learning competencies are remarkable. It helps to adapt model learning systems, boost up confidence, blending experiences as opposed to blended learning, crisis management and upskilling the training functions. Implications on customer centric learning experience. Organizations are investing in digital technologies and game elements into customer interactions. These can make learning centric experience with benefits like demonstrable mindset change, accelerated learning, bridging the gap between theory and practice, hyper personalization and exceptional return on investment for training. The technological disruptions in Indian e-learning. The following disruptive technologies have played an instrumental role in making online education, mobile based learning. Today as operating smartphones become naturally to both urban and rural India, Learners accept, embrace and enjoy learning through their mobile phones. The massive open online course MOOCs is an online course aimed at unlimited participations and open access via the web. Edutech company platforms like Coursera, edX and FutureLearn offer more than 5000 courses taught by educators across the world that anyone can access. Interactive classrooms. Interactive classrooms allow students to be engaged in their learning like never before enabling a two-way conversation model between a learner and the facilitator. Use of augmented reality, virtual reality and mixed reality in the learning processes. These are the cool kids in the digital learning space which ensures higher engagement levels and therefore higher motivation levels to continue learning. Cloud storage with all course material, textbooks, exam papers and assignments available online. Students can save all of it to the cloud and access it from anywhere. Now, what are the efforts taken by the government of India for digital learning? Some of the efforts that have been taken by the government of India for digital learning are Mechanisms developed to provide textbooks to all children at home. Online classes and e-learning to keep the learning process intact. Upskilling teachers for leveraging e-learning resources. Use of mobiles to increase penetration and enabling anytime, anywhere access. Realigning various interventions to manage the crisis with specific emphasis on the learning process, safety and security of children. Now, what are the future plans for shaping Indian e-learning? 
It includes the following like developing digital classrooms as an instructional modality, integration of use of technology with the education system, inclusion of virtual vocational training, virtual labs and skill development courses, multi-mode access to education using web portals, mobile apps, TV channels, radios, podcasts, etc. with coherent user experience. Developing quality e-content in local languages. Developing frameworks for enhancing learning within and outside the classroom and for assessments in the era of digital education. Framing of online and digital education guidelines addressing the digital divide. Now, what are the digital disruptions in teachers' training? Real time text to speech and text translation systems can be used to disseminate information seamlessly in regional languages. Biometric authentication, which is mundane and support tasks of the teacher, attendance and other administrative tasks can be taken over by artificial intelligence. Chatbots, integration of chatbots in the digital infrastructure could be transformational. They could be trained on subject matter and a good percentage of doubts of the students could be answered instantly. Automated grading. Machine learning methods could be used for automated grading of assessments on a large scale platforms such as Diksha, ePatshala, and Swayam. Personalization. When such content is in place of these e learning platforms, personalized feedback and recommendations at a large could be possible. Supervised classification models to reduce dropout rates. When AI systems provide personalized feedback, we can curb the all India dropout rates in higher education. These are the references that we have used for preparing the slides. So we hope that this discussion on digital transformations and disruptions has helped us to understand their importance in training and how they have helped the uh, training situations, training and learning situations at the macro level in the Indian system, how Indian education scenario is changing with the help of the digital disruptions. We will be meeting next with you with some more discussions on the digital like uh, disruptions in organizations and the role of training and learning, how disruptions have affected training and learning and how it can be managed in an organizations in the upcoming lectures. Stay tuned with us. Till then, thank you and bye bye.